Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less, I'm Joe Beretta. Come on, let's have a discussion. Steve Mann has been dubbed the father of wearable computing. He's been rocking some form of computer vision for the past 34 years and is considered a forerunner in the realm of wearable computing. And now, he may be the first ever victim of cyborg hate crime. Or not. He might have just been a guy who happened to wear computer glasses that got roughed up by some machismo McDonald's employees who are notorious dicks. Anyways, here's what went down. Cyborg Steve Mann was vacationing in France with his non-cyborg family when he started craving a Royale with cheese. The staff noticed and asked about his very apparent eye accessory and he provided them with the proper medical documentation stating that he straight up needed the digital eyeglass to see. And then the staff was like, cool. And Steve was like, cool. And he sat down to eat with his fam and they were like, cool. But the staff lied. They weren't cool. A couple of bites into his Donald's, three men approached him and went all Patrick Swayze Roadhouse on him. Tried to show them the medical documentation, but they ripped the documentation up and then tried to rip the glasses off of his head, which they couldn't because they're attached to his skull. So they ended up roughing up Steve, creating some very memorable vacation memories for his children and tossing him out of the store. And, 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 and they broke his glasses. When the augmented glasses are damaged, buffered pictures are not overwritten and images are stored in the memory. So. The whole scuffle was caught on camera. He's got pics of possible witnesses and his assaulters. He basically got the whole event captured in stop-go animation. So he posted it all online in a blog because French authorities are ignoring him and McDonald's won't answer his calls. But now he's got the Reddits and the tech crunches of the world backing him up and that's always a good thing. So was this really cyborg hate crime? No. It was the result of a few douchebag employees that didn't want pictures taken inside their McDonald's. Apparently, they have a history of aggressive behavior associated with people taking pictures in their establishment. So if anything, they're anti-art. Could cyborg hate crimes someday exist? Yes, of course they will. They're already putting all kinds of artificial and computer stuffs in our bodies, and quite frankly, people suck. Humans always find a reason to hate, especially when they don't understand something, or if they can't relate to something. Heck, I know people that get enraged by other people who wear capri pants. They're gonna go crazy as soon as people start rocking robo hands and robo feet and robo thighs. Because if there's one thing people won't be able to relate to, it's gonna be robo thighs. All in all, the moral of the story is this. Frenchy McDonald's owes Steve a new pair of glasses, and personally, I think they should look like either Cyclops' specs or Jordi LaForge's visor. Oh, and here's the other moral of the story. Everything is being filmed all the time. Stop doing stupid things because you are going to be on YouTube, or in prison, or both, like those badass thriller prison dancers. So cool. So if you had a choice to have any part of your body replaced with a cybernetic part of your body, what would it be and why? Let us know in the comments down below. And then when you're done doing that, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see more videos, click this annotation or go to sourcefed.com to check out the five stores of the day or anything that we've ever done. I am Joe Beretta, and I'm gonna go get me some robo thighs. <laughs>